Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. On this one, we're going to talk about ball action. That's right, guys. Uh, you probably weren't expecting that, were you? No, CC ball action is a great, great effect inside After Effects. And all I'm going to say is don't neglect the balls. Okay, here we go. So you'll see here I've got some cool little uh, light bright, if you're an older person and you played that when you were a kid, a light bright type grid here that I then explode in an explosion there and a shatter or scatter explosion. All of these types of things and more I'm going to show you. They can be used for things like particle emissions. You can have grids. You can have, like, these can be used as LED bulbs, for example. You can use this in transitions for an exploding transition or a shatter transition or just very cool effects. You know, you can obviously do this if you're looking to blur out somebody or you don't want, you know, to conceal an identity. There's a million things you can do with ball action. Let's start from scratch and let's see what we've got here. So here's the original video. I chose this for scientific purposes. So this video is purely science-based. That's why I selected it. All right, good. You want to apply ball action to this lady? Of course you do. Let's go ahead and do it. First thing you want to do is you want to go to effects and presets, select ball action. And when you type in ball action here into the bar, so just type it in, ball action, you want to apply CC ball action. I'm just going to apply it right on top of her. Oh boy. Um, when you do that, you'll see here that you get a slight kind of glitchy type uh, you know pixelated look to it and it's a really cool effect if that's what you're going for when you zoom way in you'll see here that it's kind of square or rectangular but that's not what we want and let me just show you what because you're like hey why would that be the case but when you reduce the ball size down to something like 60 you'll see here that they're actually balls not squares. so just something to keep in mind and then let's zoom back out to something like this and you'll see here by adjusting the grid spacing and adjusting the ball size, you can come up with some pretty cool looks, including a mosaic type look. So if you're looking for like a Minecrafty or mosaic look, another thing you can do, there you go. You've got this weird looking Minecraft type style almost going on there. Increase the ball size a little further, whatever. Um, again, things you can do with this. I'm just going to show you a few uses. You guys can experiment with this on your own. So there's a mosaic type look. Uh, let's go back to a grid spacing of around five. Uh, the other things you can do here is you can go ahead and make this into a shatter or a scatter type transition or explosion. How would I do that? Well, let's just say at this point, uh, we've got this pretty lady here and we're going to increase, we're going to decrease the ball size, increase the grid size, something like that. Let's go with something like that. We want to do a shatter explosion at this point. How would I do it? I'm just going to click on the stopwatch here under ball action, click there. You'll see scatter set to zero. And then I'll just move forward a few frames, whatever, and then presto, I'm just going to go ahead and increase it. And let's go to something big like that. Let's go, yeah, let's go over the top, whatever. And then bang, you know, boom, an explosion. There's a shatter. That could be a transition, for example. Uh, the other things you can do with this awesome effect is you can go ahead and start twisting it. So if you want to rotate it and make her like a rotating light, for example, you can animate the rotation. I hit the space, uh, hit the caps lock by accident. Another option, also you can twist it. So look at this, this is like a DNA helix, for example, so there you go. I've got this sort of DNA helix, and if I go back to the beginning, and I want to maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe I want to animate the rotation, I'll set it at zero here, and then I'll go forward a few frames, and then watch what I'm doing here, I'm just animating through. So maybe something like that. Again, these are all things you can do. There you go, we've got a very cool effect that we're applying. Again, there's so many different things you can do here. Lastly, you can do twists. So you can do a twist like that, but you can twist on multiple axes. So if you don't want to twist on the X, but you want to twist on a Y, you kind of can fold her in half into like a carpet. <laughs> uh, that sounded weird. And again, guys, you can do rotations on different axes here. So many things. Amazing effect. Definitely worth taking a look at CC ball action in After Effects.